Welcome back. Varying terrain, unpredictable circumstances are just a few of the challenges that come along with working on the border. In part one of protecting our border, we take a closer look at how those challenges affect U.S. Customs and Border Protection Air and Marine Operations agents. You could say it's a bird's eye view. Surveying and protecting the U.S. border from Falcon Lake to Brownsville and as far north as Corpus Christi. Flying anywhere from 50 to 10,000 feet in the air at speeds of up to 120 knots or 140 miles per hour. That jungle is extremely thin. It's a daily task for McCallum Branch Aviation Interdiction Agents. This is the focal point for a lot of uh, illicit trade, whether it be for drugs or for people. The unit comprised of 10 A-Star helicopters, three Huey helicopters, and two Cessnas flies 24-7. We'll never have enough air support to, to have a helicopter over every mile of the river. So you prioritize the resource. Aviation interdiction agents say the winding Rio Grande River creates areas difficult to monitor for agents on the ground. The air perspective uh, changes that dramatically. That air perspective allowing pilot Matt Noble to spot a ladder. He tells Fox 2 they're commonly used by those trying to enter the U.S. illegally. But working in the air also comes with challenges. The helicopter is naturally unstable, whereas uh, like an airplane is a stable platform. A pilot can let go of the controls and it will fly itself. The South Texas climate, including heavy winds and extreme heat, can also impact agents and the aircraft. A lot of times when it's 100 plus, the air conditioning just can't keep up. Sometimes you're limited not only on fuel, but you're limited just by what your body can withstand. When tracking those trying to cross illegally, pilots fly low to the ground adding additional danger. You got towers to worry about, you got wires to worry about, not to mention if something goes wrong, the timing to the ground is going to be uh, really brought down. Noble says the challenges keep him on his toes. When you're operating out of your comfort zone, I feel you have a very, uh, there's a much less chance of operating in a, uh, or becoming complacent. And when you aren't, when you get complacent, that's when accidents start arising. The McAllen Aviation Unit is just one part of the Air and Marine Operations. Tomorrow in Part 2 of Protecting Our Border, we'll take a closer look at the Marine Unit.